Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of resistors, electric power and energy, AC voltage and the voltage of the mains. This exercise was a previous one in the brief exams in 2018 first session, exercise number 4. The title of this exercise is domestic installation. A domestic installation is fed by an alternating sinusoidal voltage of effective values U is equal to 220 volts. The new effective, or simply let's say that U, is equal to 220 volts. This installation includes the following electric appliances connected in parallel, an electric oven of 2000 watts, an iron of 1000 watts, a heater of 1070 watts, and two identical lamps acting as ohmic conductors of resistance R is equal to 880 ohms each. And here by ohmic conductor means that we, we can apply ohms low to the lamps, and these quantities represents the electric power of the given electric appliances because the unit is expressed in watts. Now in number one, so the resistance of the lamp, here let's say the lamp, or the identical lamps, the resistance is given by R is equal to 880 ohms. Now in number one, they are telling me, show that the electric power consumed by each lamp is given by 50 wa 55 watts. So here we have the resistance and we have the voltage U. So we can calculate the electric power using P is equal to U squared divided by R. But before using this formula, we need to prove it. Then let's start by the general form, which is given by P is equal to U multiplied by I. So let me say that we are trying to prove P is equal to U squared divided by R. Then how do we prove this? Starting from the general form, which is given by P is equal to U multiplied by I. Then here, because R appears in the equation, which means we need to apply Ohm's law, which is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I, and this is given by Ohm's law. Now, here, comparing both expressions, I doesn't appear, which means we need to get rid of I, which is given by U divided by R. Now, plugging this I here, we will get, which is equal to U multiplied by U divided by R. Now, because this expression is a combination of multiplication and division, so we can get rid of the brackets, then u multiplied by u divided by r, here divided for sure by 1, then it's u squared divided by r. Then the expression of the electric power in terms of u and r is given by p is equal to u squared over r. And now let's calculate the value, uh, the value of the electric power of the lamp, which is given by... So the value of U, because the lamp is connected in parallel, so the applied voltage is given by 220 to the power 2, dividing by R, which is given by 880. Plugging this fraction on the calculator, it will give me 55, because everything in the SI, so the power will be, will be expressed in the SI, which is watts. Then P of the lamp is given by 55 watts. Now, in number two, determine in kilowatt hour the electric energy consumed by each lamp when it functions normally for 20 hours. Then we are interested in calculating the electric energy of each of the lamp. And we know that the expression of the electric energy is given by P times T. And here P corresponds for the lamp. Now, the they are telling me determine in kilowatt hour and kilowatt hour can be decomposed in kilowatts multiplied by hour, in which hour represent the unit of time and kilowatts represent the, the unit of power, then the power must be in kilowatts. Now here, P of the lamp that we already calculated is given by 55 watts. And in order to convert from watts to kilowatts, we simply divide by 1000. Then 55 divided by 1000, this will give me zero point. 0, 055 kilowatts. Now the electric energy of the lamp is given by 0 0.055 multiplied by the time t and the time t is given by 20 hours. Now plugging this on the calculator it will give me 1.1. Since the power is expressed in kilowatts and the time is expressed in hours so the unit of the electric energy of the lamp will be expressed in kilowatt hours. So the electric energy E lamp consumed by the lamp is given by 1.1 kilowatts hour.
Now in number three, they are telling me that all the appliances function normally at the same time. So because all the electric appliances are functioning are functioning normally, then we can use the carried inscription which is given by 2000 watts, 1000 watts, 1070 watts as well for the 55 watts of the lamp, of each of the lamp. Now in 3.1, they are telling me to calculate the total electric power consumed by this installation which is given by P total and from the total here it means the sum the sum of electric power of different electric appliances which is given by P of electric oven plus P of the iron plus P of the heater plus P of the lamp and P of the lamp here because we have two lamps Two identical lamps now P of the electric oven is given by 2000 plus P of the iron is given by 1000 P of the heater is given by 1070 and for each of the lamp is given by 55 plus 55 plus 55 now plugging this on the calculator it will give me 4180 because all of the electric powers are in watts so the value of P total will be in watts here we need to be careful because uh, all of these powers are expressed in watts so the power of the lamps must be also expressed in watts because here we determine the electric power of the lamp in kilowatts. So the total electric power consumed by this domestic installation is given by 4180 watts. Now in 3.2 they are telling me to deduce the main current I and deduce means we need to use the part just previously before. In part 3.1 we have determined the total electric power and we know that all of these electric appliance appliances are functioning under an applied voltage or effective voltage given by 220 volts. Then we can determine the value of the main current using P is equal to U multiplied by I knowing that we are interested in calculating the value of I. Now constructing the triangle of this formula P will be at the top here because we have multiply U and I at the bottom. We are interested in calculating the value of I which is the I main or denoted by I which is P total divided by the effective voltage. Now the value of P total is given by 4180 and the value of U effective or U is given by 220. Plugging this on the calculator it will give me 19 since both P and U are in the SI so the value of I will be in the SI which is amperes. Then the value of main current traversing this domestic insulation is given by 19 amperes. Now finally in part 3.3, they are telling me consider three circuit breakers uh, carrying the inscriptions 15 amperes, 20 amperes and 25 amperes. Which one is the most convenient for this installation justify? In order to answer this question, we need to refer the main refer to the value of the main current which is given by 19 ampere and to the definition of the circuit breaker which is given by the most convenient circuit breaker is the one having a rated current slightly greater than the main current then here 15 amperes for sure it will not work then 20 amperes and 25 amperes will protect this domestic insulation but the most convenient one is 20 amperes because it's slightly greater than 19 amperes then in this case 19 um, sorry 20 amperes is the most convenient circuit breaker and by this we have finished solving this exercise hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one